Okay. Here we go. What is going on, guys? Ali here, and it is time. It's that time of year again for voting for the anime awards, and it is very late right now. And uh, but I'm still excited about this. I'm I'm excited about all the uh, nominations about like ev like every anime that's nominated for anything. Um, congratulations uh, to the hard work that you guys put in um, to be nominated and such. And, uh, you know, without further ado, let's get to it, guys. But, like, I, I wanted to get to this real quick. So, I believe that the, um, like, I, I think it, it's, the voting goes on for 10 days, I believe. And each day you can vote. So, every single category you vote once, uh, for one thing. But then the next day, it's a clean slate. So you can vote again, and so and, and you can vote for ten days, um, ten times, whatever. So uh, that's like pretty awesome. Uh, I don't think they did that. They've done that before, and uh, I'm excited. So first off, let's vote for. I think maybe I'll keep anime of the year for the ending, um, but we will go first best protagonist they are emma from promised neverland hyakimaru from dororo saitama one punch man season two uh, senku dr stone toru honda fruits basket and tanjiro kamado now i think i'm gonna go hmm. see i haven't seen Promised Neverland, or One Punch Man Season 2, or Dodo, or Fruits Basket. So, the, between Dr. Stone, and Senku, and then and Tanjiro from Demon Slayer, I'm gonna vote six times for Tanjiro, and then four times for Senku. Because I still, I, like, Senku's an awesome protagonist and everything. But, I, I love Tanjiro, and his character, so much. Yeah, I think I'm gonna vote for, today, I'm gonna vote Tanjiro. There we go. Confirm. And, now, let's go to the next category. Best Antagonist. Now, I already know who I'm gonna vote for Best Antagonist. Like, right off the bat, that I already found out, like, who the Warren said. I'm voting for Overhaul the entire time mainly because this is the only my hero nomination of like for my hero and overhaul is my favorite villain of my hero period after like everything that i've seen so far it's overhaul and then probably stain and then maybe all for one i think those are my top three right now um so i mean in this season four uh this is my this is my favorite arc the overhaul arc and overhaul is just a badass so for this one um I'll be voting for uh be voting for overall there we go and now next category best boy you already know oh my gosh i forgot oh bro this one's actually gonna be hard because i was thinking of doing tanjiro but then like I'm, I'm so happy that Astro Lost in Space, the anime got got nominations, like at least some nominations. It is the most underrated anime of 2019, and also like it has one of the most solid overall like, anime, like period of anything of any anime. Like the the ending, there's like literally no plot holes left in the show whatsoever it was just so it was such a clean season and there's nothing after it's just a clean series like overall it just needed one season boom bam done and Kan kanata is is freaking awesome so i think i'm going to since again i can pretty much vote 10 times for best boy oh and then machio from how heavy are you are the dumbbells you lift bro He's so good. He he's so hilarious. I think uh, I think I'm going to vote Tanjiro 5 times. Kanata, I'm going to vote 3 times. No, no, wait. 
I think time number five. Uh, Kanata is gonna be four, and then and then Machio from How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift is gonna be. I'm gonna vote for him once. So for right now, I'm gonna vote Tanjiro, but I'm also gonna vote for Machio and Kanata like afterwards. So see, I mean, I don't care what anybody says. Demon Slayer was the shit. It was fantastic, and I loved it 110. percent Everything about it was amazing to me. I, I don't know. I, I think the the more popular something is, the more hate it's going to get. Like no matter what, and it's a little sad really that people just jump on the hate wagon just straight off the bat. But you know, whatever people can do, whatever the whatever the fuck they want. Like, but uh, anyways, next category: best girl. Now I saw the nominations. <laughs> And you know who I'm voting for. I'm ro I'm voting for the raccoon babe. 110%. I'm voting for her. Uh, I think I'm going to vote for her seven times. And then I'm going to vote Nezuko twice. No. Ah, uh, You know what? I'm going to vote Raftali seven times because that she's, she's, my, she's my waifu of the year, best girl of the year for me, 110%, because I, I supremely love the Rise of the Shield girl. Um, I think I'm going to vote Raftali seven times, uh, Nezuko once, Kohaku from Dr. Stone I'm going to vote for once, and I'm going to vote Chika once, because, I mean, it's Chika. I mean, what else? I mean, come on now. She's, the most, she's so adorable and everything. So, for right now, Raftali is getting my vote. She's getting most of my votes. And uh, here we go for next category. Best Director. Now let's check out all of these. Now see, for Best Director, I haven't actually seen any of these animes. I, I didn't see Season 3 of Dragon Titan, uh, Carol and Tuesday. I don't know. I had, I had no idea where that came from. I don't even know what that was from. I don't even know what Sarza Zanmai is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what Babylon is either. Well, actually, I've, I've heard of Babylon, but um, other than those three that I have no idea, Attack on Titan Season 3, Mob Cycle 100 Season 2, and Vinland Saga. Because I've been really thinking of getting Mob Psycho and all of like the crazy awesome stuff that I've heard of Mob Psycho 100... Even though Attack on Titan is is pretty fire by a majority of the fandom, anime fandom and stuff. I'm going to probably go... And Vinland Saga, I, I don't know. I never cared to like watch it. It looked like it never like appealed to me. But I'm obviously going to eventually watch it. But the one that I'm most interested in, like in watching, would have to be Mob Psycho 100. So I'm probably going to be voting for that. Probably the entire time. So for right now, I'll confirm and vote for uh, Mob Psycho. Next category is for Best Animation. Now, it's definitely going to be some Demon Slayer. <laughs> that shit was amazing. And you know what? I think I'm going to vote Demon Slayer and Fate Grand Order. Absolute Demonic for Babylonia. Because Demon Slayer, Best Amazing animation. Probably top tier type of like stuff. Animation and everything. UFO table. You did a good job. Fate Grand Order. I watch a lot of clips of Fate Grand Order on uh, YouTube and such. Um, of like fights and everything. Pristine tier type of animation and art. Like it's so unbelievably beautiful so i think i'm going to i was going to do splitting it five and five but because i haven't necessarily really watched fake grand order and i mostly just watched a lot of clips of fake grand order and not necessarily like every like episode yeah i was i was going to do five and five with demon slayer and fake grand order but i think i'm gonna go six Demon Slayer and four Fate Grand Order, mainly because I haven't exactly seen in uh, like an like an like a whole 
whole episode of Fate Granary. You know what I'm saying? So, for now, I'm going to be voting for Demon Slayer. For now, just for now. So, again, it's going to be like a new slate, like, every day. So, um, that's going to be good and everything. Okay, best character design. Now, I'm sure that, uh, yeah, Dr. Stone and Kaguya-sama Love of War. I think, see, Dr. Stone, like, their character designs are pretty cool. I, I like, I, I always liked, um, Senku's, like, hairstyle, and not just him, but a lot of the characters look really cool and everything. Some look goofy, which makes me laugh and shit, but, um, overall, it's pretty cool. Pretty good design. Again, I haven't seen Dororo or Carol Tuesday or Sarazanmai or Vinland Saga, so I can't say nothing about those. Um, but Kaguya Sama Love is War is it's pretty the the I would say that the character designs aren't like over the top, like oh my gosh, this is some special stuff. Um but they're really good designs. They're really nice and everything so i think i'm going to be voting i think i'm going to be voting six like six votes for dr stone and four for august summer love is war um so for right now i'm going to vote dr stone in this category just for right now now on to the next one which is best score let me bro, let me tell you rising of the shield hero is on this you best believe then I'm gonna. Oh my God! Shield Hero, Doctor Stone, Demon Slayer. I, I, like even though I haven't seen season three stuff, Attack on Titan has some good music. Um, and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I've never even seen it in general. Uh, Carol and Tuesday again. I've never seen it, so I can't say nothing about it. Um, I think overall I'm gonna go. I want Rise of the Shield Hero to win it, man, because Kevin Kevin Penkin is is so good at making his like music and such. Um, I think I'm gonna vote six for Rising of the Shield Hero six times, uh, Demon Slayer twice, and Doctor Stone twice. So right now, Shield Hero vote confirm. There we go. Next category. Okay, best fight scene. Now here's something about this. Again, I haven't seen Villain Saga fighting like fight scenes or Mob Psycho fight scenes or uh, Attack on Titan or JoJo fight scenes and stuff. The Tanjiro and Nezuko versus Rui fight, and even the aftermath of it, with seeing Rui's past and such, seeing Rui's past after that fight like made me cry. Like I felt so bad for him. And just the epicness of Tanjiro's ability and the beautiful animation of that fighting sequence and stuff was amazing. But Fate Grand Order, again, I haven't seen full-on like episodes and such, but there is one fight that I constantly watch, even though I have no idea what's going on, like exactly like why the fighting fight was going on and stuff, but Ishiwakamaru versus Tiamat, like, I, again, I haven't seen Fate Grand Order, like, completely, like, full-on episodes, but on YouTube, I think I've watched that fight at least, like, three or four times, and every single time, I'm like, Ushiwakamaru is the babes. Like, she's the freaking, she's a badass, like, you don't want to freaking mess with that woman. Like, it's freaking fantastic. So, I think between Tanjiro Nezuko versus Rui, and then Uchiwakamaru versus Tiamat, I think I'm going to go five, five for Fate Grand Order, vote five times, and then I'm going to vote five times for Tanjiro Nezuko versus Rui. So, for right now, I'm going to vote uh, Fate Grand Order, because... Bro, that fight was that that was like unbelievably amazing. So uh yeah, fate grand order for that one. Shakamaru, the babes. And uh next category. Okay, best couple. Uh, I'm not sure about any of these pairings and stuff. 
Okay, so first of all, what kind of weirded me again? I haven't seen Baki, haven't seen Given, haven't seen Sarazan. My uh, haven't I haven't seen Old Maidens in your Savage season, but I really want to. And these two characters that that are in it for like best couple, um, I've seen really quick clips and it looks super cute and such. But I don't know if I'm gonna, I would be voting for them. And uh, but also like the thing is that weirded that weirded me out is that Ymir and Historia. I'm pretty sure that Ymir in Attack on Titan has those feelings towards Historia, but Historia doesn't have those feelings towards her at all. I'm I'm pretty sure. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure. So them being in best couple is is weird to me. So I'm not gonna vote for them. But, uh, anyways, Kaguya-san, Love is War, Kaguya, and, and Miyuki, I'm probably gonna vote all ten for them, because that anime, with their dynamic of wanting to ask each other out, but not wanting to do it first, is just, it's hilarious and freaking adorable and cute, um, and all the other ones, again, I haven't seen, so I think I'm gonna vote for Kaguya and Miyuki, um, for Kaguya, Love is War, again, because... It's the only anime I watched out of all six of these. Even though Omain's is just having a season, is like really cute. Uh, again, I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna vote ten times for the Kaguya and Miyuki, but uh, for Kaguya Sama Lois War, vote it and confirm it. Next, okay, best voice acting performance. Uh, Japanese voice acting performance. Okay, I gotta, I gotta. <laughs> I gotta vote for my babe Shinobu, man. I got to. Like, I I think I'm gonna vote for Shinobu from Demon Slayer. Uh, Sayori Hayami. Bro, like, her... I think it was her voice acting that made me fall in love, like, at first. Like, made me fall in love with this character. Shinobu. And Shinobu's my, my best girl, personally, of Demon Slayer. And... Like, her voice acting was beautiful with this character. Like, at first you think she's sad she's like sadistic or whatever, but that's not even the case. And then hearing the backstory and, like, just hearing this voice actress uh, going from, like, uh, an aggressive or, first of all, like a, a, like, a sultry, subtle type of voice to seeing her past, Shinobu's past, having, like, an aggressive type of voice. Um, just an all-around great performance by this girl Saori. So I think I'm gonna vote. But then Senku, uh Yusuke Kobayashi. Oh, man, Senku's awesome. I think I'm gonna vote eight times for Shinobu or Sayori Hayami Say Sayori Hayami. And then twice for Yusuke Kobayashi Kobayashi for Senku. Eight eight times for Shinobu? Or seven times. And then Senku two or three times or something. But first off, gonna be voting for my babies, Shinobu's uh, voice actress. So, uh, yeah, vote and confirm. Next one. Okay, so best voice acting performance, English. Now, here's the thing. All of these animes, I have not watched uh, English, like, at all. But the thing is... Shield Hero is my shit, and I'm I, I'm definitely going to be watching it in English also. I'm probably going to be voting, but then Aqua is is pretty funny, even though I haven't seen really Konosuba. I got I got I'm planning on watching that that series. But screw it, I'm I'm just gonna be I'm voting for Billy, uh, Billy Kemets, the. I believe that's his, how you say his last name. Bill Kamitz, uh, Nafumi, Robin the Shield Hero, uh, English voice, voice actor. I'm going to be voting for him 10 times. So I'm going to vote right now. Confirm it. And next, let's go. Okay. Best comedy? I already know what I'm going to vote for. You already know. The, uh, bro, I didn't even realize my roommate is a cat is was in 2018. I didn't even know that. But anyways... Kaguya-sama Love is War, and How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift. Bro, How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift was so hilarious, but also informative uh, with, like, you know, working out and and, and health and nutrition-wise and stuff like that. 
But, man, like, it is so funny. Like, the girls that are working out and stuff like that, and, and also Machio is hilarious, too. Like, that is so good. And then at the same time, Kaguya Summer Lovers War is hilarious with the dynamic of, like, how they're perceiving, um, like, a romantic relationship with each other, uh, between the main character and, uh, the, the main heroine and the main male character and stuff, it is funny, it is so funny, so I think I'm gonna vote, uh, I think I'm gonna vote six times for How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift, and four times for Kaguya Sama Love is War, I was gonna do five and five, but, the, the the how heavy the dumbbells you lift was just so it was so so enjoyable and hilarious it, i kagasama was too but i don't know i felt I, I felt myself laughing a little bit more than it like a little bit more in how heavy are the dumbbells you lift than in kagasama love is war so yeah that's why i'm gonna vote six times for how heavy are the dumbbells you lift and four for kagasama so i'm gonna vote right now boom confirm it and uh, let's go on to the next one all right so best fantasy now here's the thing i love see again i've only seen two of these but i heard some really great things of ascendance of a bookworm and obviously attack on titan is always amazing so promised neverland is very good I've heard too. I gotta get on that Promised Neverland greatness. The two that I've watched are Astro Lost in Space and Demon Slayer. I think I'm going to vote for this is fantasy, right? Like even, even though Demon Slayer is, it, it, it's fantasy, like demons and and characters slaying demons stuff. It, it felt a little weird to get nominated for fantasy. I I feel like. I feel like Shield Hero could have replaced Demon Slayer for best fantasy, in my opinion. Because the amount of like popularity that the Shield Hero got in the first half of this this uh, year in 2019 was crazy. Everybody be, be cosplaying Raftali, everybody be cosplaying Alfumi and stuff with the shield and everything. I feel even though Demon Slayer is is probably the most popular anime of the entire year. I felt, I feel like, I feel like Rise of the Shield Hero could, could have replaced it. But regardless, it, uh, all of these nominations deserved being nominated. That's why they're nominated and such. I'm happy for, I'm completely happy for Dean Slayer, Sense of Bookworm, Attack on Titan, Star is on my Promise Neverland, Ash Laws in Space. And with that, Astralon's face is probably going to get six votes for me. And then Demon Slayer is going to get four votes for me. So for this one, I'm going to do Astralos in Space first. Bro, I'm so, again, I'm so happy again that Astralos in Space has, has done not just the nomination, but nominations. Because that, again... Such an underrated anime of 2019. Uh, and I'm happy it got at least nominated. So, uh, with that, for Best Fantasy, let's move on to the next category. What is it? Best Drama. Okay, let's check out Best Drama. Now, here's the thing. I have not seen any of these. But... I have heard really good things about Fruits, Fruits Basket, like the, I believe it was a reboot, and my friend Haley genuinely loves this anime, like Fruits Basket, like a lot of tearjerkers and such in the show and everything, so with voting for best drama, I'm going to be going off of what my friend Haley talked about in that Fruits Basket was such a phenomenal like show and such so with that being said i'm probably gonna be voting all of all of my 10 votes for best drama all of my 10 votes for Fruits basket mainly because <laughs> my friend Haley, she knows what she's talking about when it comes to her anime that she watches so 
I'm going to be voting for Fruits Basket for Best Drama. Confirm it. Moving on. Oh, okay. Okay, best opening sequence. I'm excited for this. Okay, first of all, haven't seen any of these animes except for Fire Force. And that opening song, I have at least, at the very least, listened to it, like, in the car or working out or anything like that. At least like 60 to 70 times might even be more like or something like i was i'm so into that freaking song like that opening song not just like the opening sequence the opening sequence was amazing but the opening song inferno by mrs green apple bro it's getting all 10 it's all get it's getting all 10 votes it's happening it's ha it's happening I, I i've been wanting to watch domestic girlfriend but i never got to yet and I saw some of the opening sequence, and it looks really cool, but... Oh, Mrs. Green Apple, they know how to make a damn song. But, uh, you know, Fire Force, all ten votes are going for me. Are, are going for Fire Force. And confirm that shit. Next category. Okay, best ending sequence. Yo, for real though, I am so happy that Fire Force is also getting nomination stuff because it's actually my number one favorite anime of 2019 like it's so hype and it's so good and everything and again the two that i've actually watched are fire force and kagoyama love is war oh my god chica's dance bro it was so cute and everything i love everything about it and that was so cute and then uh veal by by kana suda for fire force was great um I believe that's the the first ending the second ending theme is my favorite the first ending theme it had to grow on me a lot before like i started really liking it um oh, man like the the end sequence i i think i'm going to vote i'm gonna vote six times for the for five first reveal by kana suda for fire force and I'm going to vote four times for Kaguya Loves War, Chikado Chika Chika by Konami Kohara. But for now, I'm going to be voting for Fire Force for our best ending sequence right now. I'm going to vote it. I'm going to confirm it right now. So let's move on to the next category. Back to the top. I believe it is time. Okay, so I voted for all of them. Now it's time for anime of the year now for this one people are people gonna be butt hurt or whatever it doesn't matter what you say this is a popular this is a popularity award show the anime that had the most popularity is going to win anime of the year the terms overrated overhyped are completely non-existent because there's a reason why a series is like loved by so many people and is so popular by so many people there's reasons why not just because of there has to be such a complex or intricate or like twist and stuff in a story and everything that's not the only thing when it comes to an anime it's amazing first of all like opening sequence with like the music and such right opening theme ending theme are fire right animation is fire art is fire the soundtrack is fire the characters are amazing great even fantastic even you got even like the comedy like a like a like a culmination of drama comedy and action and fighting sequence being so beautiful and everything all around everything almost movie quality animation i'm talking about demon slayer now, people might get triggered that Demon Slayer is, is going to win. But the thing is, every single nomination on here deserves to win, no matter who wins. I, I'm pretty damn certain that Demon Slayer is going to win. But if something else wins, I'm going to be voting for Demon Slayer all 10 times, mainly because I haven't seen any of the other ones except for Demon Slayer. Even though I've watched over 30-plus animes this year... I haven't seen a, f a few of these. It's very weird that I haven't seen a few of these, and I've watched over 30 plus anime in 2019. And it's weird, but overall, I'm going to be voting for Demon Slayer just because of the amazingly hard work that was put into not just like the animation and artwork, 
but also the CGI looks so freaking real in that show. Like, it's insane. It's crazy. Like, it, it, it's unheard of. Like, it, it's borderline movie quality animation and shit. And it's fantastic. Now, I heard Mom Psycho's freaking amazing. Freaking fantastic. I heard The Promised Le Neverland, some greatness that I gotta start watching. I also gotta start watching Mob Psycho 100. I haven't even seen the first season. I gotta watch that stuff. I heard some Vinland Saga's pretty cool and stuff, but I've also heard that it's pretty much like, I guess, people think it's amazing because of like the the goriness or something I, I don't know what it is but i heard it's also good i've never heard of carol and tuesday again i again i've never heard of it but apparently it's it's a netflix um show and uh oh maidens in your savage season uh is i believe a coming of age type of story which seems like fun, honestly, and I'm probably going to be watching it. But again, I haven't seen all of those. But Demon Slayer, I was kind of late to the party on that anime. Like, I was 11 or 12 episodes behind. I binge-watched that stuff, and, bro, like, Tanjiro is such an amazing main character. His sister is so cool and badass. Their camaraderie and, and their their bond as brother and sister is amazing. It's something to be reckoned with. You got, like, uh, Inosuke, which is cool. It, uh, people think he's the best boy, but not even close. He's just, he's just ass and is really dumb. That's what he is. Um, and then you got Zenitsu, which is awesome. You got Shinobu, who's my best girl. Like, so many of the characters in this show, in Demon Slayer are like some of the coolest characters that I just love like overall like even even the bad guys even the majority of the bad guys I freaking love them like they're freaking awesome I love them all like I don't, I don't think there's that uh, there's like one or two characters that I don't necessarily like that much but overall I think there's like 20 plus characters that, that or not 20 plus but I think almost 20 characters I think that were shown in the show and out of all 20 of them like two of them I don't really necessarily like but that's pretty much it that's that's like that's almost unheard of for me personally uh when it comes to an anime that pretty much all of the characters i actually like and i'm ready for that movie that's coming out like it's gonna be so damn good and everything so yeah i i'm, I'm gonna vote i'm gonna vote all 10 of my votes for end of the year to demon slayer i am like i, I don't care if people like, I don't know, people are going to say, oh, you're just one of those normies. I'm like, no, I just genuinely loved Demon Slayer, like, to the utmost. Like, the reactions that I had of this show is, like, I is something I haven't felt in years. Like, it was phenomenal, and it was amazing. Again, obviously, the more popular an anime is, the more hate it's going to get. My hero got it, like, what, a year ago or two years ago, which was, like, definitely uncalled for. It didn't need to be like that, but, you know, that happens. And it happened with Demon Slayer this year. Even though Demon Slayer is some greatness and such, um, for people who are going to say, like, oh, you're just one of those normies and stuff. No, like, I'm not, I'm not a shonen, like, type of person. My friends know this. My friend Chris knows this. I'm not a type of shonen person that... Just goes after just the action type of shows and everything. Him and me have watched over 200 plus animes. And in my top 10, there's barely any kind of any kind of shonen type of animes and such. So I'm definitely not a normie or anything like that. Or a shonen normie or anything like that. So I'm not. <laughs> but anyways, again, I'm going to be voting for Demon Slayer all 10 times. And with that completes my voting. What the hell is that? Thanks for voting. It's it's fans like you that make the question possible. Remember to come back and vote each day for your favorite nominees. See, I'm going to come back each day and vote and everything. Um, but And overall, I'm happy with all of like the nominations. Like, like Astro Lost in Space getting nominated for a couple of awards. The Rising of the Shield Hero being nominated for a couple of awards. I was I was sort of sort of bummed out that Food Wars wasn't at least nominated for something because this season, season four, is the season that I was like, the most emotional for Food Wars. Like I cried, I think like three 
three times, three or four times or something. Like that, that much like this season like meant to me and everything. Very emotional stuff. A lot. There's so many amazing like animes that came out this year, and to those nominated, congratulations for being nominated. To the ones that are going to win, congratulations in the future. Congratulations and everything. Um, and uh, this is fun. I li I like doing this every year, even though like sometimes my animes don't get in for nomination and stuff. It, I I mean I don't I don't have I don't have a PVC pipe stuck up my ass to just like degrade people who are excited for animes that are being nominated and uh, that uh, that are excited for these nominations and stuff. I'm I'm not like that. I don't I don't got a stick and or PVC pipe up my ass. Um, because something's not nominated, or something might not win, or, or anything like that, or something's nominated a lot of times, I'm like, no, it's just the fun anime awards, see the ones that, that are on there, but just vote for your favorite, not, not because that you want somebody, somebody else to lose, just vote for the one that you want, that's all you gotta do, and then watch the, the awards, and see how it unfolds, and such. um, but anyways, guys, that is all, for this video um if you guys are voting which ones are you gonna vote for and such um how like how excited you are for uh, all these nominations like all these all these amazing shows being nominated and stuff uh like fate grand order rising of the shield hero astrolog in space i'm so happy that like fire force got nominated for some, for some stuff because dude their opening sequence ending sequence amazing stuff like Everything's fantastic. And even Dr. Stone being nominated for a bunch of stuff. And uh, I guess JoJo's Bizarre Adventure got nominated for a couple things too. Which was very cool for all those JoJo fans out there. Um, and I'm just happy for everybody. Uh, everybody's animes. They got nominated for something. I'm happy for you guys. Leave down in the comments your thoughts and stuff. Uh, your thoughts about the, the anime awards and everything. If you like this video if you did. Like the video if you liked uh, any of the nominations or the, the ones that I voted for. You know, if you agreed with the ones that I voted for and stuff, leave a like and everything. And subscribe to the channel for more reviews, vlogs, unboxings, live reactions, and theory discussion videos and things like that. So, you're gonna stay classy, lazy, stay sassy, but most importantly, everybody you gotta stay a little nasty, alright? So, peace, peace and love, and I'll see y'all later in the next video. Peace out, may the force be with you always, and plus, ultra. And Latum.